They were tied up and uh, there are apparent gunshot wounds. Breaking news out of Cameron County. Two bodies discovered late this afternoon off Old Port Isabel Road. The crime scene still active as sheriff investigators work the area. Our Christian Von Pricing is also there. He joins us live with what he's been able to confirm. We spoke to the sheriff out here as this investigation just started this afternoon. This started here on this rural road. This is Old Port Isabel Road in Cameron County. Somebody was walking down this road earlier today, spotted two men along the side of the road, called it in, thought they were sleeping. The deputies came out here and discovered the men were dead, bound and gagged, and also with gunshot wounds to the head. Now the investigation is underway, and uh, HSI, a federal agency, is here helping with fingerprinting and facial recognition. The sheriff says there's one older male in his late 30s, a younger male in his early 20s. He says that federal database working with federal partners is going to help identify them because they didn't have any ID on them. So they're doing the facial recognition, doing the fingerprinting to try to figure out who they are. The sheriff says they're also contacting the Mexican consul in case they are from Mexico. They are looking into other possibilities about what might have happened leading up to this. Once our investigators got here, they realized that the two individuals were actually deceased with apparent gunshot wounds to their heads. They were bound and gagged. Their hands were tied so were their feet and they had tape over their mouth. It's been quite some time that we found any individuals that have been bound and gagged. It looks like organized criminal activity, so because of the, of the way they were found, so that's what we're categorizing them as. Again, this rural area, Old Port Isabel Road, this is an area east of Loma Alta Lake, if you know where that is, that's South Cameron County, again, north of 511 on Port Isabel Road. Uh, we also spoke to the Justice of the Peace who said that she is going to order an autopsy to confirm the cause of death. We already told you that they, they were shot in the back of the head. And uh, Sheriff's Office is looking into any possible related incidents that happened here in, the Cam in Cameron County earlier this week, including some gunfire in Cameron Park. He says they don't believe that to be related, but they're not ruling out any possibilities. They're asking anybody with any information to call in right now and let them know. Reporting live, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News.